Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I would like to talk to you about points, points in general. There's many ways to create points in NX and many things you could do with those points. So I'm going to go over a few of them. So as you can see here, I've got some points in this file. I've got points that are timestamp points. Here they are. I just double click on them and you can see that it comes up with a curse with a menu where I could change the the uh, locations of the points. So I'm going to make this point go higher. It's at five now. I'm going to make it go to eight. Say OK. So that point changed. And then you can see that there's these entities in the non timestamp geometry. Here they are. And when I double click on those points, it brings up a very similar menu. So um, non-stamp, non-timestamp points and timestamp points um, are very powerful. You can do a lot with them. Now the question is, how do you get them in from a file? Uh, so I'm going to show you that. I'm going to delete everything that I've got here. Delete that. Okay, let's delete these points. And I'm going to show you that if you have a data file, I'll show you a data file. So. For example, here we go. Let's put this data file up here. I have a file called points v2. And as you can see, it's got 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 5, 0. And I'm going to add one more point to this, which is going to be a 4, comma, uh, y equals uh, 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 7 comma two. So there's four points that I have a data file from. And let's say this data file, whoops, let's say this data file is uh, something that is the output of a Fortran program that I wrote or something that's in Excel. So now I'm going to say file save. Okay, so the name of this file is points v2. And um, I'm simply going to put that in. Here we go. I'm going to say um, file import and here's points from file. I navigate to the actual uh, text file that I made. It's uh, pointsv2.txt. Say OK. And as you can see, here are the points. Here are all the points that I typed in. Here's that last one which with it, that has a Z component. And as you can see, they're in non timestamp geometry. I can unpack that like that. And then I can double click on any of the members. There you go. And I can change the values. I'll make this one go up to uh, eight, let's say. And as you can see, it moves quite nicely. Um, a point is a thing where you can put a datum plane through a point and parallel to another plane like that. So if you have a very complex piece of geometry, you might bring in a lot of points. Maybe they're gauge points and uh, you can start by modeling that. Uh, that said, uh, there's another way to make a point. If you say curve point and you say cursor location, cursor location, you can say apply there, apply there. So what I'm making now is points that are um, history based. So here's that eighth point and the ninth point. Um, another way you can create a point, and this is incredibly powerful, is you can go to the expressions editor and you can use a point entity. So for example, I'm going to name this point underscore one point one. And I'm going to get to the type and call it a whoops. What's going on here? Well, that's weird. Let's try clicking here. Okay. I want this to be a point. Somehow the expressions editor is being a little foolish. Control E. Let's pull it out like this. I've got to work with the with the type. So here we go. So I'm going to make a new expression. I'm going to call it XX because it was doing something funky. And then I'm going to click on this number. Here we go and say point. And so now it's got a type of point with a dimensionality of length. And I can put a 
coordinate here. For example, uh, 0 x, 0 y, and 2 z, like this. And so this is kind of, this is called point x, x. And I hit apply. And I hit OK. So now, in order to create that point, I go to the curve, points, and I say points by expression. And then it shows me the one that I've typed in. And I click on it and say OK. And now that's that point there. So every time I want to change that point, it's going to take me to the basic expression, expressions that I typed in. And then I can, um, I can change it, but the most, the most powerful way to change it is to go to the expressions editor like this and say, oh, that xx point is 0, 0, 002. I'm going to make it 0, 0, 008. So I'm going to click once on here, twice, put in the 8, say apply, say OK. And now, as you can see, that point that was formerly at 2 is now at 8. So I could control the point with the expressions editor. When I double click, it shows, it shows me these numbers. Say OK. All right, so now if I say Control E and I go back in, it's given me something a little different. So you've got to be careful about that. Point XX has now been overwritten by the change. Okay? So now I get to go into a point and I say that. So there you go. So um, it's, very, it's very important to understand that when I double click on it like this, I then change it and it no longer obeys the original um, definition. See, so now that's at 2012, right? And that was the uh, point 10. So it's interesting. Now, um, I showed you how to create points from a file. How about spline? Spline from a file of points. So I'm going to type in uh, spline, <clears throat> and I'll get to the spline tool. And the spline tool has this old-fashioned um, interaction that says spline to be retired. Um, but that's okay, because I can still use it. And I can say uh, through points here, through points. And then it says points from file, points from file. So I just so happen to have a file that looks like this. It starts at 000, it goes to 220, then 400, then 620, then... So it's got a, a progression of things happening in this little file of points. And what I could do now is make sure that it has the DAT ending and I can click on it like this and say OK. And as soon as I say OK, it makes the actual spline that goes through the points. So that's really powerful if you've got some kind of uh, uh, some kind of optimization code or whatever and it gives you this uh, set of points you can put them into this DAT file and read them in just like that so I hope you got the point so to speak <laughs> it's a dad joke um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please help us out by liking and subscribing um, it helps to uh, keep much more information uh, uh, being created on this channel, and we really appreciate your listenership. Thank you very much.